Calgary has been a fantastic city to be living in as well. Um, a bit sacrilegious for me to say that as a born and raised Edmontonian. And I cannot believe how often it is sunny. Here skiing with a few, with a few friends, you can see it's a little bit wintry out. Uh which are the best escape. The many beautiful parks in the city and the river valley that I, uh, I really enjoy getting down to and, and biking along. I have a Husky Collie Cross and there's so many opportunities for him, whether it's in the backyard, in the community, out in the mountains, there's no shortage of things for him to do. There is so much to do out in the mountains. Rock climbing, hiking, front country camping, back country camping, downhill skiing, cross-country skiing, skating, canoeing, kayaking, snowshoeing, <laughs> the list goes on forever. Well, if you're somebody like me that likes, you know, getting out and being active and just, you know, enjoying the weather, whatever the weather may be. I love the local food and restaurant scene. I would highly recommend checking out the restaurants in Inglewood, or 17th Avenue. Craft breweries are amazing. And even now with COVID, there's still lots of opportunities. Being so close to the mountains and having lots of locally owned uh, restaurants to try out. Really, it's quite a young city and it's a very fun city in terms of having lots of things to do. In Calgary, I love the local music scene that they have here, whether it's uh, the little niche shows like the classical guitar scene, which I'm very active in, um, or other shows like with jazz and classical shows like, um, in, in different sizes, whether it's a big giant event or something in a little cafe. Um, even during COVID, the music scene's been able to adapt. My favorite event of the entire year has to be the Calgary Folk Music Festival, which actually happens right over there at Prince's Island Park. Yeah.